We're here with Wade Barrett. Wade, what's the haps? What's the haps? Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm, we're here promoting SummerSlam right now. Um, you know, obviously we're out in LA once a year for this this huge event. It's our second biggest show of the year after WrestleMania. So we're having some uh, some fun out here promoting this and uh, meeting all you good people. When you you won NXT, and that's how you uh, made it to the main roster. Uh, did you think that when you won that, you'd be uh, skyrocketed to main event? Did you know how big the Nexus thing would be? What did you think the first step would be after getting off that show? You know, I had a very unusual start in WWE where I kind of went in right at that main event level after yeah. NXT, and that, that completely wasn't what I was expecting. If you if you look in the history of WWE, um, I think I, I main evented five or six pay-per-views in my first six months with the company, really. And uh, that's kind of unheard of and never been done before. And it certainly wasn't something that I ever expected. Um, so, yeah, it was... Uh, you think you were ready for it? Uh, I think I was. I mean, um, we had eight guys on, on NXT, and I, I feel that I was kind of the guy who was ready first out of all those guys. And um, obviously, a couple of the other guys have kind of stepped up since, and Daniel Bryan and Ryback and guys like that have kind of stepped up. But uh, at the time, I think I was the only guy in the group who was who had that capability of, of being well-rounded. So, um, I mean, yeah, yeah, it was an unusual way to start a career, and certainly was unexpected, but uh, I'm very grateful for the opportunities I got back then. When you guys came onto the scene, kind of everybody from that show got together in this group and destroyed the ring one night, and it was one of those moments that everybody remembers. I mean, like, everybody was talking about it the next day, uh, and it was called the Nexus. Were you disappointed that that kind of cooled out as quickly as it did? Yeah, I think so, and uh, I still get people asking me to this day why it ended so fast. Um, I mean, in my opinion, there was a lot more legs to it, um, I think. Um, in retrospect, we could have done a better job with, with putting the storyline together, how it progressed. Um, but unfortunately, it ended very, very quickly after it began. And uh, I think that's a shame, if I'm honest. You, you're always on the cusp of being in the main event scene. You know what I mean? Like right now, it seems like you're always right there from being in that, that world title match. Is that frustrating to you or are you okay waiting? Uh, I think the fact that I've, I've taken 10 years to get, well, I probably took six years to get to WWE. Um, yeah, I'm a very driven person. Um, I've had to make a lot of sacrifices to get here. I'm never going to be happy um, just kind of sitting in the middle. I've always wanted to be at the top. Um, that's my aim. I want to be the world champion. Um, sometimes you do have to bide your time a little. Sometimes you have to wait for opportunities. But from my perspective, I do everything I can every day to get myself up there and get myself higher on the card. And um, that's really my goal is to become World Heavyweight Champion. Did you like coming back uh, as more of a tough fighter than the just guy who's British so he wears a coat on his shoulders? Yeah, definitely. I think, again, that was something we could have done a bit more with when I came back. Um, I think uh, it, was, it was good to kind of update the character a little and, and give it a fresh coat of paint um, that's always good from certainly from a fan's perspective as well um, but um, ultimately like I say you know I've, uh, I've I'm always looking to improve myself and if it's a um, you know making tweaks to the character or if it's changing my wrestling skills or anything like that then I'll always be looking to do that but you would have liked to gone a little further with the sort of knuck, bare knuckle fighter you yeah. know dude Definitely. I think, um, I mean, it was, you know, I, I came back. I don't really feel like there was any, any real direction for the character when I first came back. It was kind of thrown out there. And, um, you know, I think I suffered a little from that. I could have done with some more direction. And hopefully soon that'll be coming with, uh, with the, the creative team. Yeah. Uh, did you get into a lot of fights when you were a kid? Uh, I think my nose will probably tell you that story. <laughs> well, that's what, yeah, when you're... A little bit smashed <laughs> up. Yeah, I was, I was a bit of a... Uh, rambunctious kid I, uh, I i played a lot of sports and things like that and i was always very aggressive and um, i had a quite a short temper too so yeah i was fighting quite a lot as a kid do you i mean the goal in uh sports entertainment and professional wrestling is to have these fights without injuring anybody you know what i mean everybody wants to go home safe at the end of the day is it difficult at all for you to get in that headspace where yeah i'm in a fight but it's uh, the results are predetermined and i don't want to put this man out of commission um, I mean, everything we do, we try and do it as safely as possible. We right. always say, don't try this at home. We're, we're the, kind of the best in the world at this. We're highly trained and all that stuff. But accidents are always going to happen in there. And I've seen it myself, in, certainly in the last kind of 12 months, where I, uh, I broke my arm, I had surgery, I was out, and uh, I was out for six months. So, I mean, you, you go into every match not intending to hurt anyone um, or seriously hurt anyone. 
Um, but um, th there is always that small percentage chance that something catastrophic might happen in the match, and we, we kind of accept that. When you break your arm in a match, do you know right away this is bad, I think it's broken, I'm out for six months? Yeah. I mean, I knew, I can't speak for, for anybody else, but certainly when I did this, um, I landed on the ground and uh, I grabbed my arm and I can feel the bone sticking out here. So uh, I knew it was bad and I knew I was out for a long time and it really wasn't that painful. It kind of all went numb, uh, but the frustration was immediately, was immediate when I knew how bad it was. And, you know, we got to the back and I think the bone had popped back in place and the, the doctors had x-rayed it and were telling me, oh, it's just a bruise. And I knew they were talking <laughs> absolute nonsense at this point. So, yeah. Well, I popped the bone back into place. Now it's just a yeah, bruise. Yeah, so uh, anyway, we got the MRI about three days later and they were like, oh yeah, it's really bad. So um, I knew immediately, um, you know, there's only so much doctors can tell just from feeling or, or looking at an x-ray. And uh, yeah, I was, I was the guy to ask and I, I could have told them right there and then I was going to be out for months. Uh, who would you like to be working with when you get to the main event? Like when you're, when you're there, is are there young guys that you'd like to come up with you and be there? Or are there guys now? Um, I, like I, ideally, who would your big main event program be with? You know, somebody who I've never had a match with um, in WWE, which is quite unbelievable, really considering we've kind of, uh, kind of been on the show together for the like last three and a half, four years, is uh, CM Punk. Um, I've literally never had a single match with him. So he's someone 100% I would like to get in there with. He's one of the very few regular guys on the show that I've never been in the ring with. So um, he's definitely someone I'd, I'd like to step in there with. Like I said, I'm a big fan of his. He's a great performer. And I think he'd help me step my game up further. Um, on top of that, somebody like Triple H is someone I was a fan of growing up. Um, he's consistently, I think, one of the best performers in WWE. and. Uh, although he doesn't have many matches these days, he's kind of more uh, behind the scenes guys. One of these behind the scenes guys, um, he, he comes back occasionally once or twice a year for yeah. matches. So I would love to step in the room with him too.